What's going on, YouTube? It is your girl, Bridget Rats, bring y'all another reaction. Banger, you feel me? What's up, fam? How y'all doing? I'm back. This is Young Donna South Got My Experience Having a Panic Attack. Before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications if you are new. You know me. We got to get back consistent, okay? But, um... We about to get straight into it. Um, I'm not gonna hold y'all time no more. We are recording now. All right. So I get out of the shower. I walk into my room. I grab my phone and I lay on the floor. Butt ass naked, wet and scared. I thought to myself, if I don't get help right now, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna suffocate in my sleep and I'm not gonna wake up. I type 911 in my phone. And then I stop. I think to myself, am I really about to let these people in my apartment complex see me like this, bro? Are you good? You know how embarrassing that would be? So here's what happened. It was after school on a typical hot sunny day in Jamaica, and I'm on the blacktop basketball court by myself shooting hoops in my school uniform. So there I am doing my thing, when through the corner of my eye, I see a familiar face walking up to the court. And I knew what he wanted. He wanted to shoot around. Now, if it was anyone else, I would have gladly welcomed the company. But fuck this guy. So you just watched a scene from one of my upcoming animations confronting the high school bully. It's going to be fire. But in order for you to fully enjoy it, I need you guys to go watch my last animation trying to impress the high school bully. I promise you, you're gonna be glad you had watched that one before this one comes out. It's 14 minutes long and it's very entertaining. Link in the description. Go check it out. And that way, when I drop this next animation coming out very soon, you're gonna love it. All right? Cool. Go watch the video. Peace. I used to think that people who complain about anxiety were just weak people. You remember that scene from The Dark Knight Rises where Bane is like, Oh, you think darkness is your ally. You've merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. Nigga, that's me and stress, nigga, that's me. That's me, bro, that's how I feel. I was born into stress molded by it because i was born and raised in the murder capital of the world side note apparently el salvador just passed us for number one which either means progress or el salvador is now literally the footstool of lucifer either way second still pretty bad you want to know what the news sounds like every night in jamaica death death murder murder death also the cricket team is doing really well breaking news there has just been more death and also murder like just google images jamaican house bro they all got bars on the windows and doors all of them that's so you can keep all the death death murder outside your house in america you lock your door with a with a little, with a cute little key. I knew the word master lock before I knew when my birthday was because that's the brand of padlock you use to lock your doors at night. It's basically voluntary imprisonment. So when I hear people- Man, if I'm watching the egg, I'm watching the egg. Y'all should know this by now. Y'all should know this by now people complain about having anxiety i'm like okay nigga you gonna tell me that you too hot next or hungry welcome to life bro just be glad you didn't have to participate until you became a teenager i always thought anxiety was normal like for as long as i can remember i've never woken up and just felt calm you know like from the moment i open my eyes it's just pressure deadlines relationships expectations money family obligations i always felt like i was either running from something or trying to catch something what that something is i don't fucking know all i know is that i just gotta keep running and this is the way that i've lived my life thinking stress worry and anxiety are simply burdens that all who pursue excellence must Beer. And anyone who complains about it or even go as far as to say they have panic attacks are just not cut out for the honest brutality of life. But one day that all changed and I had my first ever full-blown panic attack during which I truly believed 
that I was going to die. It was in the middle of the day. I had gotten maybe two or three hours of work done when I sat on my couch feeling very sleepy, which I thought was very weird because I had just finished my third cup of coffee for the day and it was maybe Dang. one o'clock. I remember feeling lightheaded and hot, but the heat was coming from inside my body. So I laid down on the couch and closed my eyes and within minutes I passed out. I don't know how much time passed, maybe 30 minutes to an hour when I was awoken by this pulsating thud in my head. I sit up and I feel like I just ran a marathon. My heart was racing, I was out of breath, which immediately alarmed me because I was just asleep. Quickly, I realized that I couldn't breathe. Sound familiar? Something told me it wasn't AFib though. If you don't know what AFib is, go watch the Night My Heart Stopped Beating video. I actually thought, yo, I might have just caught the sickness, bro. You know the one, the reason why everybody got to wear a mask now. I started regretting all the shit I talked about, how I think the whole thing is overblown and a waste of time and money. I started praying to God to save me from the disease. I get up, super lightheaded, and I make my way to the bathroom. And then I look in the mirror. Bro, my eyes were more red than the most red they had ever been from hitting the dankest of danks. At this Hit point, I realized that my brain wasn't getting any oxygen. Shortness of breath, lightheadedness, red in the eyes. That's what a dude looks like when he's getting choked out in MMA. I get undressed and I hop in the shower, hoping the cold water hitting my skin will help with the inflammation in my lungs. But I honestly couldn't stand under the water for even 10 seconds. I felt like I was going to pass out. So I get out of the shower, I walk into my room, I grab my phone, and I lay on the floor. Butt ass naked, wet, and scared. I thought to myself, if I don't get help right now, I'm going to pass out. I'm going to suffocate in my sleep. Google. And I'm not I just noticed that said Google. I type 911 in my phone. Do you know that I've never called 911 once in my life? Like, I've never called 911. Never. Like. And then I stop. I think to myself, am I really about to let these people in my apartment complex see me like this, bro? Are you good? You know how embarrassing that would be? If I'm gonna leave this apartment on a stretcher, it better be in a body bag. Also, there is a chance this isn't gonna kill me. And if I call this ambulance, I'm about to get hit with like a $4,000 hospital bill. Are you good? Nah, bro. If I'ma die, just let me die. <laughs> That's dead ass how I felt. So once I accepted that this might be the end, I got up and I put on some boxers and sweatpants because if I was gonna be found dead, I didn't wanna be naked. So there I lay on the floor, waiting for me to either pass out or for things to start getting better. And as I laid there contemplating death, I learned a few things about myself. One, I noticed that I didn't particularly want to talk to anyone. Not my mom, my dad, my sister, my friends, nobody. I just wanted to be alone, which I thought was weird, you know? Because you always hear that people want to die being surrounded by those they love. But to be honest, I like the fact that I was alone. What do you think that was about? I don't know, comment below. Two. I noticed I had no regrets, no feelings of, damn, I never got married, never had a kid, never bought a house, never made X amount of money, never visited Japan. All things I wanted to experience, but I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything, which I also thought was weird, right? They say live life every day like it's your last, but when I thought it was about to be over, I realized to me, nothing actually mattered. At least that's how I felt. And I'm not trying to bum you out, okay? This is not a sad story. I love life. I don't want to die. I have a ton of plans for the future. I live as healthfully as I can so that I can have a long and healthy life. I'm just telling you how I felt when I thought I was about to die. Anyway, I decided to call somebody, right? My co-host from my podcast, The Thrill. And I told him what was going on. At first, he thought I was joking but he quickly realized that I was serious. And then he told me to call 911, to which I replied no. And that if he doesn't hear from me in like a day, it probably means I'm dead. 
Yeah. I don't know what that means. Like, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. I'm the most grounded, the most spiritual I've ever been. I guess I just found out. <laughs> so nice. Whoever you were before, were before, that's over. Earn your nursing, Bro. healthcare, business, or tech degree yeah, fully online like, oh my in a way that Even works for you. Even in a YouTube you. video that I'm watching, I gotta watch now, that. Now, I'm not scared to die, which I think is a good thing. Anyway, <laughs> as I laid there in acceptance, I noticed that my heart rate started to slow down, and I gradually became able to breathe again. I get up and sit on my bed, and in like an hour, I returned to feeling 100%, which told me that this wasn't the sickness. And as I sat there, I started to think about what could have caused this. First, I realized what it was. It had to be a panic attack. Because one, I knew it wasn't a disease, because you don't get super sick and then completely cured within the space of an hour. Two, I knew it couldn't have been an allergic reaction because I didn't eat anything out of the ordinary. Also, I'm not allergic to anything. And three, I didn't think it was a coincidence that the closer I got to accepting death, the more my symptoms went away. So now I'm trying to figure out what causes panic attack. You know, there was nothing crazy going on in my life. There were no tragedies, no emergencies. And this may sound strange, but my intuition told me that it was a coffee. In fact, I felt like my body at that point had been telling me for weeks that coffee was really starting to hurt me. But because I'd been drinking coffee every day for years, I ignored it. On March 19th of this year, I quit vaping and I quit nicotine for good. Haven't touched it since. On May 26th, I quit using magic for good, AKA, you know, the good grass. And the 4th of July weekend was the last time I've had a sip of alcohol. Coffee was literally the only thing I had left, nigga. That was it. That was all I had. But something deep down was telling me it had to go. So I threw it all away and said, no more, never again. And after the first week of hell passed of me detoxing the caffeine, my anxiety went away. And look, I'm not a psychologist, and I know that anxiety can be caused by an array of things. And I've always known that coffee isn't the best thing in the world, but if you told me a year ago that all of my anxiety was coming from drinking caffeine, I would have said you were fucking crazy. But when I say my stress levels, my quality of sleep, how my stomach feel, how I feel on a day to day, just how at peace I am. When I say that all those things have improved tenfold, since quitting coffee, I am not exaggerating. Now, I'm not telling you to quit coffee. Do whatever the fuck you want. I'm just sharing my personal story, my personal opinion. All I'm saying is that if you feel like your life is filled with stress and you think that it's coming from all these other things in your life, but you also drink a ton of coffee, maybe consider giving it a break and seeing how that makes you feel. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend, especially if you have one that loves coffee. I love you. Like and subscribe. I'll see you again soon. We gotta go. Baby, we're All right. That was looking good. Like, it was very interesting. Um, If you guys did enjoy, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications if you're new. Other than that, I'm out. Peace.